All right, hey guys, how's it going? It's AC Milty here with another Pokemon Go PvP video on Electrode. Now, in my team building video, I know I mentioned Electrode is a possible option um, if you want to sub an Electric type in or you want to use an ex interesting pick. Um, while it is not as good as Raichu, Alolan Golem, um, Lantern, or even uh, Magnezone, um, it is a decent substitute for Magneton. So if we look at its moves here, it has a uh, Spark, Foul Play, and Discharge as its uh, major moveset. You could switch out Discharge for Thunderbolt, or you could run Hyper Beam on it if you really want to, but there's no reason to. The whole point is to use Spark to get that sweet, sweet, quick energy and um, basically you know, spam your Discharge and spam Foul Play on Pokemon that resist Discharge. And it worked okay in matchups where you expect it to be successful, such as Verse is Knocked Owl. It does very well, but other than that, it is probably not the greatest pick, but we'll see in the battles to come. Anyway, I've, I played a few battles today. Um, first one is up against my friend, uh, Rian Sil. And, um, you know, it's interesting. These are all blind pick matches. So, anyway. As we go into the game, waiting for the game. There we go. So in this first game, I decided to lead with Electrode. We'll see Electrode as a lead versus Fortress. Um, so it's very interesting. Fortress wins with quick moves mainly, and it can just shield. But you know, Discharge will do a lot to Fortress. Will do about 45 to 50 percent, depending on the IVs. And um, I'm just mainly going for it. But he smartly decides to shield. And you know, he keeps spamming that bug bite, and it's really scary, you know. Um, it does a lot of damage, it's almost like I'm like some kind of grass type. He goes for the earthquake there, which is kind of random. I, I would have just gone for heavy slams to bait my shield, although I I think Electrode is not very weak specifically, but it is not bulky at all. So it performs similarly, I guess, to Wigglytuff in the bulkiness department. So there, I tried to switch out for before I died, but he got to me with the bug bite. So I go into my Vigoroth here. Um, I have to go for the shield because he's gonna heavy slam, and do a lot of damage. Um, I'm just trying to farm some energy. I have enough for about a body slam and a half, so I gotta keep playing. He goes into his own Vigoroth, and you know we're just kind of counter spamming. I cannot piggyback because if he brings me lower than a uh, half, I lose. And um, here he goes for the body slam. I switched into victory belt just just because I resist the counters. I'd be able to get some damage off. I felt like he had knocked out in the back, so it's whatever. Um, and you know, you'll see here. It's kind of it's kind of GG's here. He goes for the body slam, and um, all I have left is my Vigoroth. I got. I'm trying to farm energy here, so I got. I have a body slam and a bulldoze, but his last Pokemon is the Lantern, and I do not have any hope against this. My only hope would have been to go for two bulldozes and hope both of them hit. But you'll see, bulldoze only does about 50 to 60 percent to lantern, so uh, it wasn't exactly. This is not exactly a winning scenario. And water gun does so much damage, takes out my Vigoroth, and that was game one. So I don't know. Electrode versus Fortress, not a very um, winnable lead matchup. And um, in our second battle, I believe. I think I added Wigglytuff here. Maybe not. So then you go Electrode versus the Venusaur matchup, and this is a good time to look at how well Foul Play does versus a Grass type. And it does uh, relatively okay. I mean, look how much uh, damage I think this Foul Play does. It does about 40, 40 to 45%. Yeah, about 40 45. That's a lot of damage, but not as much as a Frenzy Plant would do to Electrode, which is, you know, it's. Sometimes I question like why certain things happen in the meta. I, I guess if he was using Executor, Foul Play would one hit KO definitely, like 100% will one hit KO that Executor. But you know, Frenzy Plant from Venusaur unresisted will hurt very much, and I really need to shield that. Um, so that's why I shield it twice, and then I go for the Foul Play again. And here I'm just kind of, kind of hoping to get another one. Foul Play and Discharge share the same uh, amount of quick, uh, quick moves required for to charge fully charge, about 45 energy. 
So I would actually get to foul play or discharge in one attack less than Venusaur, which is a good thing. So I'd, I'd know after the next one that I could switch out. And then here I decided to go for Victory Bell just because I, I forgot what I have in the back. I think it might have been um, Vigoroth. So I wanted to preserve that. I obviously resist counter, and but I would be able to get some energy up onto Victory Bell. And um, I'd be able to go for Leaf Blade, maybe switch out later. You know, it's very, you know... It's very hard to say what I was trying to do here, <laughs> but I was trying to basically get a Leaf Blade off, get a shield down, and then switch into my Vigoroth to absorb a Body Slam, which is, you know, what, what ends up happening. And I was expecting the uh, Lantern at the back, which I was correct, um, so I, I'm kind of forced to go for the Body Slam here. And you know does decent chunk of damage, and then I go into the you know victory bell because that's my last Pokemon, and it's kind of GG's for me. I, I can't get enough Razor Leafs, and you know I'm out of a shield. I can't shield the Thunderbolt and Leaf Blade the Vigoroth. <sighs> I'm tired. <sighs> Alright, so that was that was the second game. So we lost two games. L Electro not looking like the best Pokemon to use so far but um it's it's interesting you know you get to see how the foul play works and you know how discharge works and that's kind of how i feel about magneton except um electrodes a little bulkier than magneton just but without the uh, key resistances so resistances to poison and grass which are you know big resistances but doesn't have the weakness to fighting so it, it's, it's once again it's, it's a possible interesting pick here and um, as you can see here i i still stick with the electrode and I, I think I stick with the same team. I am not 100%. Anyway, let's skip to the battle. Whoops. So I actually ended up uh, going, I believe it was Venomoth, Electrode, and maybe Wigglytuff. So here I go for the Venomoth Lee. He goes into Beedrill, which is great. Um, that means I could just Confusion Spam and, you know, hope for the best, pretty much. Uh, unless the Beedrill had Aerial Ace, I wouldn't be in trouble. So um, here I decided to go forego the shield, expecting him not to have Aerial Ace, but he does run the Aerial Ace, um, and it does a good chunk of damage. Here uh, I go for the Silver Wind, and I'm kind of forced to uh, switch in this situation. So here I go into the um, Electrode. Now I think this actually was a mistake because I cannot deal too much neutral damage with my fast move. I just go for the discharge as soon as I can. <sighs> and then here he goes for I think a thunderbolt. I think it was a mistake to shield here. I probably could have tanked it and the outcome of uh, this might have been the same. Either way, um, I go as soon as I can I go for the discharge and I believe he shields this too. No, he does not. So Lantern goes down. That's one thread out of the way. We're both 1-1 one, one on shields. I send in Vigoroth. So here I'm just charging a little extra energy before I launch my discharge. And it uh, doesn't do anything because he shields. And I just keep going for more sparks. Honestly, this is a pretty straightforward matchup. Um, he has to body slam, otherwise I'll get to another spark and deal massive damage to Vigoroth. And I'm okay with that. Uh, Electro kind of did his job where he took out a, a, a threat on the other opponent's team. So here I bring in my own Vigoroth. There's a little bit of lag. And um, there he goes. Obviously, I kind of I kind of had to, to, have to um, piggyback here in order to uh, get, get some energy uh, advantage. So I shielded the first one, if he goes for a second one I can piggyback off that one or I can just go straight for the quick moves and I think that's what I end up doing. I just go straight for the quick moves in order to take him out. And um, yeah. So he has one more Pokemon left, it's the Beedrill and I'm able to get off the last Body Slam which is great because um, that allows me to win this, this game and we get more lag. Niantic fix your servers or like find a way find a way to do PvP without needing to access you know the server. It's so annoying. Alright, and I think I might have one more versus Rian or I might switch to uh, battling Lafalanche. We'll see. 
Okay, so we have one more. Oh, okay, this is against Laughalanche, so... You know, I think I went Wigglytuff mainly here. So I side lead Victory Bell, he leads Magnezone. Interesting matchup. I think Victory Bell wins this. And because of its resistance to uh, Electric and Razor Leaf still does, you know, massive damage to even Pokemon that resist it by one times. And, you know, Magnezone doesn't have exactly have the best uh, HP. And um, he goes into Beedrill there. I decided to go into the Electrode. I don't I don't want to bring in uh, Vigoroth just because it'll get manhandled by the bug, uh, bug poison typing of Beedrill. And I go for the Discharge because that's what you got to do as Electrode. You got to go for the Discharge. And... I know for sure he has a ton of energy build up here, he probably has enough for two charge attacks. I shield here once, and then um, I have to shield the other one, or the otherwise I will die. And um, he piggybacks off his own attack, and he gets a little more energy. Goes for an X Scissor, and you know, it's, it's it hurts, it hurts a lot. And he somehow gets another X Scissor right here out of his ass, and it's all thanks to the piggybacking he's doing with his charge move. He's actually getting an extra charge move in. So I have, I'm forced to shield here and I have to go for a discharge. He'll either sacrifice it or, you know, just leave it be. And he does sack the Beedrill. Um, and I think it did a good good amount of damage to my team. Um, and he still has one shield up. So he could potentially sweep me here. Oh, and he went for the Magnezone again. I decided to go for the foul play. Hoping I would take out the Magnezone. Right, and he actually does opt to shield there and I go into Vigoroth um, just to absorb the wild charge and also I know that uh, I can beat him with the with the quick moves now I need to go for the body slam here and then I'll be forced to switch into victory bill who will be able to clean up and you know get that last chunk of HP out with only fast moves but I'm here, I have a limb. I have like a 1 HP Electrode, so I decide to switch in Electrode in case he decides to, in case he's spamming his Body Slam. Um, and it works out for me. Um, I'm able to get that Body Slam out the way. And then here, I just keep, you know, going for Razor Leafs. Um, I think it was a mistake for me to Leaf Blade there. I could have, I should have just kept going for Razor Leaf because that would have given me um, an extra charge move to go against uh, Magnezone. Yeah, and there you see Magnezone's able to get that off. But it is a tie. Um, Victory Bell, insanely bulky, um, especially against the electric types, does so well. So that was an interesting tie, to be honest. All right, and I think that's it. I think oh, we have a few more. Okay, so play another game against Laugh. This time, um, I decided to lead with the Wigglytuff. You know, test out that Wigglytuff lead. Honestly, don't, I honestly don't think Wigglytuff is the the new the new king. I think Vigoroth is still king of Jungle Cup. But Wigglytuff, once again, is a threat that you need to watch out for when you uh, make your team. So, you know, I'm just going for the charms. He switches into Ivysaur. I mean, I can immediately switch into the fortress that I brought along, and from there, I'm able to you know, beat up the Ivy so I don't need a shield. And once Fortress dies, I don't really feel compelled to like, you know. Oh, I sorry, once the Pokemon that counters uh, whatever is on my team dies to Fortress, I feel like I can just sack my Fortress. Because unless he brought like two grass types or a grass and a bug at, on the same team, I'm pretty screwed. But then if I had a Noctowl on that same lineup as well, it would have screwed him over. And as you can see, I'm running the Rock Tomb Earthquake, and you run into a little lag, but uh, Rock Tomb Earthquake is a great uh, combination for just coverage in general, although you can run Heavy Slam just for Wigglytuff. So here I go for the Rock Throw, and then I'm, tr you know, trying to get to a... I think it was an Earthquake? Oh no. So, hi. so here I don't shield because, you know... Fortress did his job, but I'm luckily able to get to the last second charge move. It did not kill me. Like, it looks like there's like a slither of health left. So I'm able to get the Rock Tomb off in case he shielded again. And I'm up two shields, so like I'm just like in my head, I'm like, I can't lose. So here I go into Wigglytuff, and I'm, I decide to shield here just in case. And um, I just keep 
going for the charm, but he has one more body slam up his sleeve. So I'm debating if I want to, you know, shield this or not. I decided to shield it just because I, I feel like it will kill me if I take that body slam. So, there we go. So anyway, I'm able to take him out with just the uh, wiggly tough, and then I go for a a ice beam, expecting the knockdown somewhere in the back, and he, it does more than half, which is amazing. And then here, I'm able to go for uh, four more, four more adventures. I don't even know why I said four more adventures. That's how tired I am. It's like pretty late when I'm recording this. But I guess four more sparks. Able to get off that discharge, and it is over. So that was a that was a clean game. That was pretty fun. Electrode shining up against the knocked owl, which is great. You know the role it was meant for. You know, probably with less shields, would probably be able to beat Fortress, but no guarantees. So for this next game, I lead the Beedrill, he leads the Ivysaur, and it's a good matchup for me. I'm expecting him to go out into so, like a, a knockdown, but so but I wait, and he goes into the Vigoroth, which is also another matchup that Beedrill can win pretty comfortably if you know with shields up and. Uh, because it quadruple resist counter, it's all good. But I decided to switch into Wigglytuff here mainly because um, I'm able to get off a bunch of fast damage, and you know it will take him out in about two more hits. And um, he's able to you know resist it. And I I kind of make a dumb play here. I should have just let Wigglytuff die and uh, sacked it. But I take it out with the charm. I'm actually, and we're both actually one shield even. Or sorry, sorry, he's up one shield, so it's not super even. So I gotta find a way to force a shield, and I'm like, I'm trying to under tap, trying to get that last uh, charge move up, but um, I kind of failed there. And then next, I go for the ice beam, force a shield, and it does. All right, and you know he's saving up energy with his vine whip. And then next, I go into the. I'm pretty sure I'm deep in thought here. I think I go into B drill just because that makes more sense. Or we crash. No, no, we didn't crash. So I go into Electrode. He went into Magnezo. Now this is pretty decent for me because I can attack it with a foul play. While both attacks that Magnezo has, I resist completely. So I'm trying to see, figure out like what I want to do here. And I keep going for the the the, um, the sparks. You know, trying to take him out. And I neglect to shield here. Maybe I should have because Wild Charge will still do a lot of damage. And yeah, it's just kind of a pain in the ass. And then uh, here he goes for the. Uh, I go for the foul play, sorry. Uh, just to get a little more chunks of life off. But uh, he shields there and. It's for the wild charge. There we go. So. I have one shield left. I go into B drill, trying to take him out with the. Is he trying to take him out with the fast moves? Um, poison jab does minimal to him, and I, I make a mistake here. I should have just gone straight for Aerial Ace, knowing Ivysaur was his last Pokemon, and you'll see why. So he goes for the Sludge Bomb, bam! I survive it, and I think that he doesn't have enough energy left. And I try to go for the Aerial Ace, but he is able to get the Sludge Bomb off. So it's kind of annoying, but you know you kind of learn. You, you learn from this game. I thought I honestly thought I had this match in the bag, but he had all that stored energy. That was that was a you know good move on his part, good uh, strategic thinking. And then for this next battle, I go against unknown Nick though. He's also using some oddball choices such as the Meganium, and you know I said lead with Electrode again. Um, not expecting it to be able to do too much. It's an it's, you know it's an interesting pick, but it's not that great. I go for the foul play here because discharge is resisted, and I decide to switch out. I think into the B drill because I you know quadruple resist I believed I thought in my head that he had enough for a frenzy plan so I decided to go you know keep going with it B drill does quite quite good against some um, a pure grass type like like meganium honestly I don't see any reason why you shouldn't run Venusaur or any like you know grass poison over meganium like you should there's no reason to use meganium over those options unless you really can't find a Venusaur. And then next, um, he goes into Fortress and the game lags a bit. 
but um you know we're able to we're able to make it through you know we we sprinkle some dust on the game and you know <laughs> anyway um i'm able to get two aerial aces off on this fortress which does about half damage so you know this is why i run the aerial ace otherwise that probably would have only done about maybe 30 percent at the most with sludge bomb and then I'm forced into another dilemma here. I could go into Wigglytuff or I could go into Electrode. Electrode's a better endgame mon, but I said to go into him. I think, yeah, just because um, I didn't want to lose Wigglytuff. And he goes for a charge move. It's revealed to be Heavy Slam, so I should not have shielded there. That was kind of a waste of a shield. And here I'm forced to go for the Discharge because I have to because I'm going to, you know, not be able to bait a shield later otherwise and you know he's charging his energy here probably going to be another another a heavy slam but that is just enough to kill i have i'm way low on health and i go into the wiggly tough here trying to finish him off with charm so i don't have to use my charge move which i do not have charged up but um i forgot what his last pokemon is there you go so it's raichu so this is pretty winnable for wiggly tough actually very easily winnable so I don't have to worry about anything and I'm still up a shield. If he tries to attack me, I'll just shield up and then, you know, keep going after, um, keep going after him with the charms. And he goes for the Skull Bash, which is interesting. Um, I haven't seen anyone use Skull Bash yet. Alright guys, but anyway, that was some Electrode gameplay. Not the best Pokemon to choose. I would definitely go with Lantern or Alolan Golem. But, you know, if you have one lying around and you want to test out just charge and have fun, especially if it's your unweighted cup, go ahead and do that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Electrode is a cool, kind of a trollish Pokemon. Especially when you pick up Pokeballs and all of a sudden it turns out to be Electrode or Voltorb. That was, you know, that's nostalgia for me. Anyway, yeah, verdict on Electrode, not the greatest. I think has potential under the right circumstances versus any flyers definitely beats them anyway guys i gotta go i am tired it is late but i want to get this content out for you guys anyway <laughs> you guys have a wonderful evening or night or day whenever you guys watch this and you know take care all right guys good night bye bye